All right, guys, Fulu coming to you with another commentary. This is going to be um, a two part commentary because of the simple fact like, um, you know, there's just too many things to unpack, man. It really is. And it's sad. And, and you know, we 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 look at these things and we say, man, is society really becoming this? Is society really this much out of decay when we see things like this that I'm about to show? But let's look at the first thing. I can't be the only one with this kind of story. About two years ago, I was in a relationship with a man. And he was about 40. I was about, what, 25, 27, something like that. Okay, so the thing is, what probably happened at the beginning of the relationship is... um. Now, granted, I don't know her story. Like, I don't know the full story or the full uh, scope of what happened. But probably what happened at the beginning of the relationship was um, that her friends were in her ear and her family members were probably in her ear about the age um, discrepancy in the relationship. That's probably the first thing that happened. You know, but um, as it stands, that really shouldn't be an issue. You know what I mean? Um, The backwards thing about this society is that they put, they make age differences. They force age differences more than they do um, other, like, kind of sexual deviancies. You know, they focus on, you know, oh, you know, this guy's too old um, and what have you. Um, For example, you'll see like teachers, um, you know, getting with their students and things like that. And, you know, granted, you know, sometimes these teachers are within, you know, the age bracket of the student, but they still be like tripping like, oh, yeah, she just she just. she basically um, took advantage of him when it really does take two to tangle and that men by nature are going to take sex, you know, no matter what the age is, they're going to take sex. You know what I mean? That's just what it is. You know, I, I, I have not known anybody to be like, no man at least, say, stop it. Don't do that. For the simple fact that, I mean, it's as a man, it's harder to come by sex than it is a woman anyway. But let's continue. (laughs) But he was willing to invest in me physically, financially, emotionally, religiously, like all aspects. He wanted to make me a better woman. Now, the thing is about this is that This guy probably wasn't a simp. This guy probably figures, okay, I got my resources. I got my life together. Um, So I might as well just get a young one and build her up and train her. But the problem started is she probably wasn't. um, She probably didn't know how to be a wife. And. She may have not known how to be a girlfriend either. So this this was the two issues. You know, he was trying to change that. He figured, okay, she's young enough um, to to do that. You know what I mean? Um, and he, I guess he just put th- those things forward, but only to his uh, disadvantages. But let's continue. For him. Well, he boosted my self-esteem and my well-being so much that I thought that I could do better than him. Booyah. And that's what happens with these women. Um, Most of the time it's with a beta male who puts them on a pedestal. Says, oh, you're this. Oh, you're that. Oh, you're a goddess. Oh, you're my queen. 
all year. I'll do anything for you. Nine times out of ten, it's going to be a beta who does that, right? So she starts believing the hype. She's like, oh, well, if he's saying that, then that means I can do better now. You know what I mean? She she starts believing it. She's like, well, I can do better. And I can just cut this dude off and get to another breadwinner who has a bigger wallet than this dude off than this dude is doing. Uh and get more resources, extract more resources from him. You know, it's very much, hypergamy is very much in effect. You know, don't let it fool you. It's always in effect. But let's continue. And now fast forward, I am now post dealing with a narcissist. I now understand that not all men have your best intention at heart. Not all men will invest in you and not all men will uplift you. So when you get the opportunity to date such a man, do not. I can't be the only one with this. Well, that's the first part. But um, the thing is, is. When women realize this, <coughs> excuse me. When, when women realize this realize this fact it's usually too late they're usually in their 30s or they're usually saying hi to 30 or they're usually past their 30s that same guy has now took it upon himself to say i'm not going to be bothered with you for the simple fact that you had one too many hot girl summers you had too many cock carousels You have too much of that, and I don't want that. And I'm not in any obligation to take that, right? So this is what happens, you know? So with her, you know, I don't know what her current situation is, but now she's kicking herself for doing that, you know? Because hypergamy took effect and she believe that she could do better right that's what occurred in essence but anyhow let's move to the second part which is going to be way longer because i really can't believe this woman someone needs to cancel this woman for real i'm dead serious someone really needs to cancel this woman i'm sick and tired of seeing her face you know she's a freaking disgrace When I say a freaking disgrace, she's a disgrace, you know, um, she's a disgrace. I swear to God, I swear to Allah, she's a disgrace. Okay, let's go ahead and look. It's 3 a.m. What's going on? I wish there was an app where I could compare rental cars like Kaya. It just literally happened to me last week again. I was Explain. coming back from Miami from the Fresh and Fit. And the sad thing is about this Blue Jasmine woman, she's not pretty. Okay? She already looks like she hit a wall. Saggy ass titties. Um, fake eyelashes. Just everything about her is not, it's sloppy. It's very sloppy. Pound cake makeup. She's not even good looking. But let's continue podcast you i was fuck in a either cat- of those guys huh you fuck those guys ew like what no i <laughs> why ew because I, I honestly uh yeah i'm not gonna say that forget it what? but no uh if you, you cut, would you cut it out ew no like, what what like no i'm not it, okay. like yeah i feel like unless it's financial she did fuck them though don't let it fool you she she may not she just didn't want to look like a slut but she did you know She's not going to say it on there. Some women, some women have a little bit of shame, but she, she, I guess she has a little bit of shame in that regards, but she um, is not going to um, say that she did, but she did. Men don't, it's hard for me to get turned on by a man. Like to me, it's like, yeah, no, I'm good. You know really? what I mean? 
Yeah, like, unless, I think, like, even watching a man spend his money, like, recently I was at the strip club, and watching a man spend his money even on other women turns me on, you know what I mean? So, this woman, in essence, like, and, and, and the sad thing is about this is that she's not the only one like this, you know? She's not the only one that's going to be um, in like this at all. That's why I tend to do all of my shopping online. You know, I don't like to reveal my hand because believe it or not, you go to Santa Monica, you go to um, like, like, let's just say Third Street Promenade. You go to this that Santa Monica Mall over there. You go to Century City and things like that. And you're you're what you call me getting your your goods, the things that you want. And you're coming out with bags, right? And then, unfortunately, you're, it's going to be a magnet to women like this. Leeches, you know. But the, oh, God, I can't stand them. I can't stand them. I really can't stand them. I understand, like, once in a while, treating your significant under other I understand that completely but when it becomes predatory like this no thank you okay this woman is horrible and the thing is it has to work both ways it has to be like your wife or your significant other may be in the store and may say, hey, you want these? I saw these and I thought they would look nice on you. You want these? Yeah, go ahead and pick them up. You know, but it's not like this with this, this thing. But let's continue. I mean, it's just like, it makes me feel like, wow, like you're a boss. I think you need therapy. <laughs> Fuck you. I mean, I'm just serious. I mean, and he's right. He's right. She does need therapy or she needs professional help, but she does. It, but the thing is, she has friends that have um, convinced her of otherwise. And because her friends have convinced her of otherwise. And also people on social media, too, you know, also people who follow her social media and what have you have convinced her of otherwise that she doesn't need help that she doesn't need therapy. In fact, there's more or less people who are constantly encouraging her to keep on doing things such as what she's doing right now. But let's continue. Like, we, you have to Why do I need therapy for getting what I want just for living? Okay. If you're a woman who could get... Because you're not working for it. All you're doing is leeching off of other people to get it turned on by a guy for other reasons and then you also get turned on by a guy spending money on you i guess i could understand but when you say you only get turned on by a guy's throwing money at you i mean i mean that, that that's like the first thing and then you know then i'm curious now who, like oh so in essence um pull up in a wraith or something pull up in a bent or something and basically not more than an hour later, she'll probably have your um, your yucca in between her jaws, you know. But you just have to buy her a couple of Birkin bags for that. In essence, she's a high class prostitute. Don't let it fool you. She's just not trying to sound like um, she doesn't give sexual favors, but she does. Okay. She does. But let's continue. Okay, you're hot. Big dick energy. You know what I mean? Uh-huh. And so that just shows how shallow she is, too. Talking about big dick energy. So you probably need to eat. And then that's the sad thing, too, about her. Is that you, you may get to the point where you're you're gonna um be able to please her or whatever but you probably need a ruler size um a foot long for her to even be pleased you know what i mean 
because since she's talking about big dick energy. What kind of financial circumstances did you grow up under? Like, were you poor growing up? Hell yeah. Oh, I was okay. in, I had, my mother was 18. My father was 21. My dad had a couple crack houses, so he had money and cars and stuff, but it was like hood shit, you know what I mean? So in essence, she's a hood rat, you know what I mean? And she took her hood rat ways and manifested them to um, a main, a, a main, like, mainstream. But she's a hood rat, and she was able to get on the mainstream uh, with those hood rat ways. Um, so yeah, I have no bread. Uh-huh. I had to get it out the mud. I guess that- But you're not getting it out the mud though. You're using other people to get it. What part of getting it out the mud is that you're not, you're not getting it out the mud, you dumbass. It's probably partially explain it. Maybe. I mean, just like your male role model having crack houses. I guess that's probably yeah. gotta explain some of. But this. my dad did financially take care of me my whole life. My whole life until I was. Duh. That's why people sell drugs. Some people sell it. Mo most niggas who I know who sold drugs, and most people in that game, they don't do it um, to like be flashy. Some do it. Some do it to be flashy. Some do it to, you know, get attention. But most do it to stack, and most do it to um, take care of themselves. For the most part, they're just trying to survive. Twenty-one until I finished college. Right, but mm -hmm. he was also basically committing genocide, destroying his own community to make. No, money that was just it. why he was young. After like he was. <laughs> and not, no hate on people selling crack or anything, because I understand a lot. It would be unfair for me to hold your dad to that standard when a lot of the people I interview have obviously uh probably killed tons of people with the drugs that they were selling mm -hmm. and i guess that's just you know an acceptable part of the culture but uh yeah i don't know it's just there's got to be more to this i don't know um what were we saying prior the thing that really kind of the, the best part in the kevin samuels thing that i saw was how <laughs> you tried to like basically explain how it was illegal for them to kick you out of the apartment and he he i think kind of cornered you and made you realize that actually they Legally. No, it, it, it is illegal, though, especially during Corona. Houseway, you don't know anything about the law, so how can you say it's illegal for them to kick you out during Corona? Because if that was my apartment, um, I would say, yeah, you got to leave. It's becoming an Airbnb now. You got to find a place to go. And wherever you go, it's not my problem. You know, so you got to leave. I'll give you give you 30 days to leave because right. they were trying to i mean these circumstances were weren't the ones i was under because the person was is paying my bills happily uh -huh. but and that's the problem the the person is actually paying the bills happily you know that's the issue that we face is that they're actually willing willing to do this you know he tried to say if this was a circumstance and I obviously I'm not just going to give in. I'm not going to be like, OK, here you go. Like, no, like you're going to have to wait until like I get my shit together. OK, but say it was me. But you are going to give in. If that was me, you would give in. And I wouldn't be the one to take you out by force, but someone else will be the one to take you out by force. And more or less is it, it's going to be someone you're not going to expect either, you know. So it wouldn't go down with me like that, you know. I would I would definitely put my foot down. And we were dating and I was paying for an apartment that you were living in and paying for the car and we broke up. I would say I'm taking it all back. And then what are you gonna do? As you should. Like I'm gonna say get it back in blood, bitch. Yeah, and I mean I probably <laughs> Okay, and if you say that if you say that, right, I'm going to go to my lawyer. I'm going to do what I need to do. And not only am I going to get it back, I'm going to sue the shit out of you, too, for holding my stuff. I'm going to get I'm going to put lawsuits over lawsuits over lawsuits on your ass. Like, don't mess with me. You know, that, that's why. This is why a lot of Western women dislike me because they know, although I'm quiet and, and things like that, they know I, they can't, they know that I'm not going to fall for their games. And they know that, you know, 
I go zero to 60 very soon. You know what I mean? Um, as a matter of fact, I, I hate to say this, I'll give you a story, but there was, um, there was this one woman out of nowhere. It was just like completely random, completely random, completely, completely, completely random. But, um, she was trying to criticize how I was parking because I had to go, um, I had to drop a container on because, um, yeah, I'm shipping something to the Caribbean. So I had to drop it off and it, it was in the, I had to, I put it in a big van. So what happened was I was parking and, um, she was like trying to look at me and trying to instruct me on how to park. And then um, when I go take the container, she she had the nerve to say, come on, hurry up. Stop being stupid. So, you know, I said, OK, I got her. I, I got her. So I did. I, I carried the container, you know. And then once I got once I got back to the truck I said hey did you call me stupid well yeah how you're parking I said listen bitch don't call me stupid ever again you dumb bitch her husband was right there too he didn't do shit she was the one that was what did you just call me what I said I called you a bitch b-i-t-c-h and then I gave her the finger too like I'm like don't play with me do not play with me and her husband was the one holding her back because her husband would have got it too. You know what I mean? So this is how I am with all of these Western women. You're not going to do this to me because you're not, especially from where I come from, where I come from. If this were to happen and homies got word that, Oh, you let her disrespect you like that. And be like, nigga, you soft. So it's not going down like that. And it wouldn't go down with this woman either. Really, like if I got to send some some people to, you know, kick yeah, you out of I the guess. apartment or whatever, I guess I got to do that. I'm, mm -hmm. I hope they don't have to hurt you or whatever, but mm -hmm. I'm probably and I would like to not be there since uh, me being part of it doesn't seem like a good idea. But mm -hmm. like, what are you going to do? Honestly, dumb things have never happened to me, but I, I know, would but just, just imagine that I would. But best believe you keep on treading this path. It's going to happen to you. You're going to choose the right one. Trust me, you're going to choose the right one. And it's going to happen to you. Trust me. Not, um, I wouldn't leave easily. And I don't have a shame in saying that. Like, I'm not, yeah, no, it's just not happening. You're not going to kick me out of space that you placed me in. Like, you're going to have to wait until I'm comfortable enough or until I'm ready to do what but I need to do. It's just so interesting. Bitch, you better uh, learn how to be... You, you better learn how to be comfortable being uncomfortable. You say you're not going to when legally it's their right to and they it's the right thing, in my opinion, for them to be able to. And there's nothing that you could do to stop them. And if the cops were called or if it was taken to court, they would rule that you were wrong. Like what jurors, what, what, what basis does this, this I don't, cockiness I don't have? really know the laws, you know, so I can't really fight that. Um, right. But I know that. Exactly. So. With that being said, if I lawyer up on you and I put lawsuit after lawsuit on you, what are you going to do? What are you really going to do then? I'm going to stick it out until I can't. Yeah, you're going to have to drag me out of there. <laughs> yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm. So, OK, I, I'm, I'm going to already said this, but what does this guy think of all this newfound attention to his uh, romantic situation or his financial situation? I guess, like, what does he think of the fact that this has gotten so much attention and that it's basically about him, even though he remains anonymous? He doesn't care. He doesn't. And that's the problem. Like, he should care. You know, this is the issue. He, he you know, there's a saying that um, people will do certain things to you as long as you let them do them and that's the problem with this guy he's letting her do it he's letting her build a platform off of this 
he's letting her get more appearances off of these things. You know what I mean? That's the whole issue. You know, if I were that guy, I would just like put her in her place, but he's not. Chances are like, unfortunately, he at like at the beginning of the video, I think he's a beta male, you know? Okay. He probably thinks it's cool. He hasn't really said anything in regards to it that's negative. Mm. Um, he's definitely said, you know, he's a money person. So he's definitely said capitalize. He's definitely said try to make it into something for yourself. You know what I mean? But he hasn't said anything. He doesn't feel it. And that's the problem, too. Encouraging these women to do that. And you're a guy. You're, you're only making it like, unfortunately, you're, you're kind of making it. I want to say um, you're making the war, you're fighting on the wrong side of the war. You know, that's the unfortunate thing when you do things like this or say things like that. The way he doesn't care. That's crazy. Because I would think it would be like really embarrassing to like, even though he hasn't been named. I but there, you, you'll be surprised that I've received cash apps from, from men after this. Like, men are in my DM sending me money who I don't even know. Right. And that's the problem, too. Like, these thirsty old niggas, like, they're sending resources to this toxic-ass woman. And I'm not trying to pocket watch. Don't, don't trip. I'm not, I don't knock nobody's hustle. Get it how you get it. But what I'm saying is that when you have guys... When you have guys doing this, you're only what what's happening is that if you're a guy and you're doing this, you're only enforcing what she has been saying before. You know, you're only in essence like you're co-signing what that her her attitude. You're co-signing her way of thinking. You know what I mean by you sending cash apps to her and that's the bad thing about it you know and what i'm thinking is that these guys who are sending the cash apps i mean i i i would think that what's happening is they hope for sex from her or they hope for some kind of attention from her when really the, this you shouldn't even want attention from a woman like this at all. You know, I pray every day that Allah does not put women like this in my life or even in my vicinity, you know. Let's continue. Who probably will never meet me, who don't know where I live, don't know anything about me but this, what they see on the internet, and they're sending me money. I mean, I guess it shouldn't be so hard for me to understand because the truth is, is that there's tons of girls out there who are like charging money for their OnlyFans and then their OnlyFans has like what, like pictures of them in a bikini, mm -hmm. whatever, like not that anything that crazy. Mm -hmm. And then meanwhile, you could log right onto Pornhub and search that girl's name and see her getting fucked in the ass, whatever. True. And dude's still like, I mean, if you're paying for the OnlyFans, you kind of are just paying for her for no reason realistically because you know there's I... crazier shit on porn up. not for every girl obviously like mm -hmm. I'm, I'm sure you're not on there but no i mean i guess it shouldn't surprise me so much that guys just want to give money to girls for nothing but i can't you know, i can't escape it it's just baffling to me it's, i don't think it's for nothing i think it's no, it should surprise you bro it should surprise you you should never be a nigga and just give random women your money the hell that, sh that should never fly, bro. So it should surprise you. You know, don't let it fool you. Definitely should surprise you. You know? For just them existing. And I feel like, I mean, I feel like, don't... To girls for nothing, but... I can't, you know, I can't escape it. It's just baffling to me. It's, I don't think it's for nothing. I think it's for just them existing. And I feel like... Nah, I can't believe this bitch actually said that, though. Just for existing. Um, The bottom line is... The reason you do exist the way you exist is because of us. So, remember that. Okay. Name me one time in history when um, 
when a woman actually could, took control of a whole, a whole, like, I should say a whole civilization, and that civilization flourished. Name me one time that happened. Please. I can't believe she said that, just us existing. Freaking delusional. So if that's the case, um, I guess guys are entitled to uh, cash apps too for just existing, right? Since according to um, neo-feminism, uh, guys, girls can do everything guys can do, and vice versa, and we're we're all we're we're equal. Can't make this shit up, man. I mean, I feel like don't a lot of pod, what's Patreon? Don't people like <laughs> men or whoever watch you give money to people just to listen to you? Patreon.com slash mm -hmm. no jumper. Yes, but I mean, there's a lot of uh, content on the Patreon that's like exclusive. Not only that, if you if you are giving like some super chats or you're giving a cash app to someone like a guy, they're, they're usually probably providing something of value to you or they're usually providing some kind of information to you that's helping you in your life and that gives you like changes in your life. So with that being said, um, that's what the Patreons are for. That they don't have access to. Right, we can do you... naked girl stuff on there. Mm -hmm. We can do, you know, all kinds of drug types. And, and <laughs> Not so, that we and have so yet, but we're going so, to. And so they find value. Even, you know what I mean? But a person like me would be like, why would I pay for this? You know what I mean? Like you said, when I can go on Pornhub or right, I can it... listen to this on YouTube for free or whatever. So that's the part that I don't get. Because even on Fresh and Fit podcast, I didn't want to like put them on blast. But I was like, aren't you guys, you men paying to watch men? Like, I don't get it. Like, why wouldn't you pay a woman? Like, if you... Okay, because those those men are usually giving valuable information. Okay, that's why. That's why they paid for it. Okay. They're getting a they're obviously they're they're finding something of value from listening to it. And obviously maybe they're applying what they hear into their lives and they notice the differences in their lives from applying it. Versus, oh, I'm just going to give, um, I'm, I'm just going to give uh, this uh, money to this woman for no apparent reason. Liked her or if you were had interest in her, like, what's the difference? Well, I mean, the difference is that, like, if somebody, you know, and apparently there are many people who are open to this, but if, if there's people who. So that's the part that I don't get, because even on Fresh and Fit podcast, I didn't want to, like, put them on blast, but I was like, aren't you guys, you men paying to watch men? Like, I don't get it. Like, why wouldn't you pay a woman, like, if you liked her or if you were had interest in her? Like, what's the difference? Well, I mean, the, di well, the difference is, as I said before, you're getting some information that you may not get anywhere else. And if you get, um, and if you give the money to a woman, all she's going to do is string you along and all she's going to do is continue to use you for the resources without giving you anything. So um, that's the difference. The difference is that like if somebody, you know, and apparently there are many people who are open to this, but if, if there's people who watch my podcast and they want to see more of the podcast or they want to see some extra content or, you know, some people do it out of the goodness of their heart because the reality is, is exactly. that you could be a huge fan of No Jumper and it costs zero dollars, like for you to be a fan. You watch everything on YouTube for mm -hmm. free. Some people see that. They realize at a certain point, like, oh, they have all these expenses. They have all these employees. Maybe I want to give them five bucks a month because that will help make their whole exactly. operation easier same here so some people see a beautiful woman and they're like maybe i want to buy her a car oh my god i cannot believe this shit and the sad thing is she's not even beautiful i cannot believe this shit bro because that's going to help her get from point a to point b maybe i want to put her in a house because that's going to she's going to be sheltered and it's going to be because of me Right. That oh my God, I can't make this shit up, bro. So in essence, 
what she's saying is that guys, she, she she's of the belief that guys, like let, let's hypothetically speak. I'm what, let's say I'm driving, I see a pretty woman. Hey, you know what, woman, I'm gonna buy you a car. Hey, you know what, woman, I'm I'm gonna put you in a place. But you don't have to do you don't have to do anything. I'm not expecting anything from you. I'm not expecting any sex. I'm not expecting anything from you. I just want to do it because you're just pretty. That's the only reason. Oh my god. This is happening. The same exact thing. But I think there's a big difference between like a podcast that you get a ton of enjoyment out of and that occupies like many, many hours out of your week versus like just a random woman just having a car or just living in a house. Like it just seems like much, much less common sense to want to support. Really? I think it depends on who you are and what you like to support. So some people may like to support a podcast and some people like to support women. Some random woman having a nice car. Yeah, and that makes men feel good. Listen, the other day, oh yeah, with the taxi situation. It doesn't make men feel good. It me makes weak beta males feel good. It look, it makes weak beta males um, feel that they're wanted or something. But it's not going to make um, someone who's on their square, who's working for their resources, um, because they know how hard it is to get the resources. It's not going to make them feel good. Okay. What's going to make them feel good is that they flip their resources into something bigger. Okay, that's going to help them enhance their life and what have you. I was about to say that story. Came off the flight to Miami. My phone was dead, so I had no choice but to talk to this person. I was annoyed at first. He's talking to me, telling me about the cars that... Okay, so that's the problem too, right there. So she, she she's not even approachable at that. Like, she's not even approachable. I guarantee you, if you um, look average, meaning that, and, and you may have a lot of money. You may have a lot of money, but you may not show that you have a lot of money. But I guarantee you that if you look average and you go up to this woman and say, hey, what's up? How are you doing? She's going to be the same type of woman to disrespect you and say, call you out your name and things like that just based on the response that she gave right now you already know she's like that he has and i'm like can you buy me a car and at first he's laughing like ha ha whatever whatever and i'm like i'm really serious i really need a car like mm. my car is messed up da, 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 you know bullshitting whatever and um yeah so i exchanged so then we were talking you know we, we continued to talk but he wasn't like he wasn't really jacking it like during the our initial like car ride, mm -hmm. gave him my phone number. He's literally been calling me the last five, six days trying to get me to meet him at the dealership. But I've been so busy running around with everything that I haven't had the chance to every single day. Are you going to meet me today at the dealership? Are you going to meet me today at the dealership? Are you going to meet me today at the dealership? Uh, that he wants to get me a car. So she found a sucker. And not only is he a sucker, but he's a thirsty sucker at that. You know, believe it or not, you can have a lot of money, right? And you can have a lot of resources, and but you can still be like beta. You can still be a simp, you know what I mean? Um, and so this is the case with this guy. It's that like, yeah, he's a simp, you know, because I mean, this, this fool has been hitting her nonstop and asking about going to a dealership when he should be trying to add to his own car collection or he should be trying to um like rent those cars out for income that he currently has don't know this person literally had a one hour taxi ride that i didn't have to pay for if you're driving a taxi you're not making enough money to buy a random woman a car i mean i don't know some people you don't know I mean, you kind of do, though. Like, driving a cab is not the best job. I've watched YouTube videos about people who drive Uber and shit. They make, like, you know, 500 bucks a week, whatever. I mean, it's Well, cool, according to him, but... according to him, he has an X, whatever the fuck, BMW. He has a Porsche. He, you know what I mean? He put his daughter through school cash. You know what I mean? So he, whatever money he has. So are you going to just believe? That's how thirsty she is for money. She'll believe any money story, you know? Even when, when the guy maybe obviously doesn't have the money, you know, 
she'll b believe a money story because she's that's all she's looking for is she so hell bent on getting money you know i saved up maybe i don't know what's his financial situation but i know he wants to get me a car and when i go home i know i'm gonna go get my car does it stand okay good good luck with that good luck with that because that's going to come with conditions but yeah, good luck with those conditions that you're going to be under. I'll tell you that there's maybe like a possibility that he might like eventually stalk you or like do some creepy shit or rape you or something like that. Because that, that to me, that's like the first thing that comes to mind. Anytime somebody tries to offer me something for free is just a lot. You think they want to rape you? <laughs> yes. No. <laughs> Alarm bells go off in my head. Like, okay, I have guys come up to me and they say, "Oh, I own this place, and we'll let you, we'll let you have fucking whatever rental car you want. Just like shout us out on Instagram or whatever." I don't do it because I don't want to be in a situation where someone's giving me something, because then they're gonna feel like they can ask me for something or they can like exert pressure on me. And I know that being in the position that I'm in, I don't want to have to do any. That's facts. You know, that's facts. Uh, I mean, that's the thing. I think some of these modern women like her expect that like dudes to be forking out resources and not expect anything in return. You know, they're going to want something and most of the time it's going to be sex. But I think she's under the impression that dudes are just going to fork out resources and they're not going to want anything. You know, what probably happened too with her is she probably was with like various guys and those various guys were given resources and you know they weren't asking for um they simply weren't asking for sex so that's probably why she's thinking the way she's thinking you know thing for anybody so i just say no if i'm gonna do any people offer to work for me for free all the time i don't want to fucking have somebody working for me for free i want to pay you a fair amount and then i can actually lean on you to do the work that i need you to do if i'm if you're working me for free i can't yell at you and say hey you need to do this why the fuck didn't you get this done yada yada i need to be able to rely on people and that just doesn't really make sense to me well for me i uh, i just feel like if you stand strong in your stance i don't give a fuck what anybody feels or thinks or wants to do you know what i mean i mean no right. one forced you to do these things for me so it's like once you give it to me it's mine i do agree that no it's not okay you obviously gave the attention so you you actually you honestly misled these guys so with you misleading them of course they're going to expect something because you mislead it then. So I don't know what she's talking about, really. I really don't. These men, if they want to spend money on these relationships or whatever, then that's that's cool. That's like their prerogative, et cetera. I do think we need to address like the simp culture where so many guys think that this is like a good use of their time or money. I think it just says like really horrible things about men in general that so many men are this. And he's right. He's absolutely right. That says very bad things about men who are like this. You know, it puts out a bad image to men everywhere who do this. You know, it makes females think that like most men are like this. You know, that's the thing. So it is a bad look for us guys when dudes do that. When dudes cater to women like this. You know, because what happens is a domino effect. Other women think they can do it. And then because other men think they can do it, they find men they can do it with. And it just keeps on spiraling down, 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 down. You know, but yeah, someone needs to cancel her for real. The way they made a petition, a petition to cancel Kevin Samuels, I mean, it may be having, it may be time to make a petition to cancel this woman, you know. But anyhow, um, that's all I got for now. You know, I'll probably be live this Friday, talk about a couple of things, kick a couple of things. But anyhow, fully signing out. Leave your thoughts, leave your comments, like, and subscribe. Good job, Amber.